All right, so this is the new tooth bar I just ordered. This is a uh, Piranha tooth bar from Be Expanded. And I chose them because I've been, wa I've been watching this company for a long time. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos about these. And um, went to their website and read up on everything. And it just seems like everybody's always really happy with these. There's a lot of different tooth bars you can choose from. Even eBay and Amazon has cheap tooth bars that can be cut down to size and modified to fit your machine. But be expanded. Uh, Custom makes these to fit your machine. You give them your own measurements and then they uh, compare that to the measurements they have on uh, most machines with the stock buckets that come with them. And they even called me and double checked and said, hey, we have your measurement and this is what we have. This is what we're going to do and it should fit great. They communicated with me, so they have given great service. Um, the lead time on the custom order was about two weeks, which isn't bad at all. Um, I ordered it, and they made it, and then shipped it out right away. And uh, first impressions with this thing, I gotta say, it is heavy, um, which is good because it needs to be. Uh, anything that's going to be the mediator between the end of your bucket and the ground is going to have to be made really well because it's going to take a beating. So this is some thick steel and as you can see it's got uh, two different size teeth on it. Got a good point right there in the middle as well as a flat side on the big ones and it's beveled or whatever you call that so it's good and sharp. And then they have these pieces welded on, which the uh, tip of your bucket goes in there. And that helps secure the tooth bar on the end of the bucket. And both of these parts fit inside of the bucket. And uh, you just drill two holes in the side of your bucket and use the bolts they provided and that's it. So it can easily be put on or removed. And this one it has 49 inches from the outside of this to the outside of this side. And the inside of my bucket's 49 and a quarter, so I have uh, about an eighth of an inch tolerance on each side, which is great. So that should fit in there just fine. And the uh, tooth bar here itself will stretch end to end on the bucket, which is great. And they did give the option to buy a step bit from them, but I didn't do that because I have a few. I didn't need to buy one. But this bolt at most is maybe a half inch to nine sixteenths of an inch uh, in diameter. Not a very big hole to drill. And uh, the bucket on my Coyote is not that thick anyways, so it should be pretty easy holes to, uh, to drill out. Unfortunately, my uh, coyote is not here right now in my shop. It's out on a job and I've actually been waiting for this because I really want to use it on that job. It'd be a really good test to see what kind of a difference this thing makes. And I've been battling uh, the material I've been moving. So hopefully this, this helps. So I am going to uh, gather some tools. I need to drill some drill bits. I'm gonna take some clamps with me that way I can clamp this thing into my bucket and hold it nice and steady when I mark out where the holes are going to go. You only want to drill the holes in the bucket once. You don't want to mess that up. So you got to have this thing nice and straight and how, how you want it before marking and drilling the holes. I'm actually just gonna bring this. I don't need any of these. These two cordless drills kind of don't do very good. Got some step bit. I think this one's toast. I don't know. I'll take a couple of them. You got the Harbor Freight Special Warrior Titanium drill bits. Can't forget my chuck. And I think, oh yeah, and the clamps.
Whoops.